Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in retirement with heaven. I begin every audio cast with this concept to remind people of where their rights in the world begin and end. Your soul and single rights belong only with you personally. If you have the responsibility for a child that's under 18, then probably you have a few additional rights to someone else for a little bit of time. But your responsibility to that child is to raise them up in loving kindness to ensure that they don't become bastards in our world. Selfish, thieving assholes in the world. Do I make myself clear? And if you're not willing to read a book on child rearing, then you do not deserve to have one at all. We have had 60 plus years to know what is and isn't appropriate for a child in every year of their life and how that most children without special needs in general grow and develop and what they need. If you have failed to produce your interest in reading, then there are audio files that you can listen to while you're eating. It doesn't really matter except God has gifted you a child and you are responsible for raising it up and rearing it so it doesn't fuck our society in any way. Now, I am pagan and I am vulgar today. In a few years time, I might be something else. Certainly five years ago, I was a very different man. But in life, we have people who impact us. Now, I apologize for the transparency that I'm showing you, the authenticity that I'm giving you, because we have to be real about the world. We live in America where we have a lot of people illegally here, and it is not a wise decision to just open the borders and say, okay, you've been here illegally now for all these years, now you may stay. That is immoral for the rest of society. It is a burden on our food, it is a burden on our jobs, it is a burden on our safety, it is a burden a lot of times because these people who came here illegally are still doing things that are quite illegal. There are those marvelous stories like Spanglish, which was a marvelous video and movie that my Japanese family loved, and we thought it was a great film on every count and every actor in it. But the reality is that when we have someone who is unlawfully here, it's very rare that they try to live a straight life, never get in trouble attitude in the world. Now, that might not be the best way to say that, but that is my experience, my cultural generalization of people who came here then didn't cross their I's, sorry, didn't dot their I's and cross their T's in some way to get here. I know something about that because I've provided some help to some people to come here. They utilized their time exceptionally well. There were some challenges occasionally, but we handled it as a family, and that's what people do. In life, there are moments of time when there are stressors that make us difficult people, but when someone is being constantly accosted, constantly raped, and psychologically, emotionally, physically, or sexually abused, you're gonna create a rage. A rage in the world is what people feel. There's a rage going on against police officers, and I completely agree and understand. In my life, I had police officers constantly stealing from me. If they don't want to be seen as illegal, if they don't want to be seen as immoral, if they don't want people hating them, then they need to produce a better training school and a better understanding of the world. International treaties govern every human being of every nation in the world. And one of the most popular that's discussed across the world is called the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. It is an international thing with the United Nations, with 400 nations participating, which means if you're in America, most likely your country signed that fucking treaty. So behave yourself and know what those articles are. At the same time, our American continent has a constitution. That constitution applies only, technically, to people who are lawfully American citizens. However, they do govern other people who are visiting our land. The amendments provide us mainly our additional rights. The number one right that we have, however, from Lord God above all the world is our right to our personal self, our right to our hearts, our right to our minds, our right to our souls, our right to choose whether we're gonna be a peaceful person or a bastard of Satan. You see, God gives us free will, and free will says, I will love the Lord still, or I will walk away. Most young people walk in and out of a concept of wanting to believe in a God, but don't really have a passion or a practice of believing and serving God. You see, in order to serve the Lord, you have to be willing to submit. And if you can't submit one thing or to one person, even in a job where you won't do things the way you've been told, it shows that you're an immoral person. 
You see, in life, who we are is also what we do and what we say, of course, and whether it's true. If we spend our whole time bullshitting people, it's highly unlikely they're ever going to trust you with anything important or want you anywhere near to their lives. There are illegal and immoral people that don't understand human relationships. There are certainly groups of people who like to thieve with each other because they feel deprived in their life partially because they didn't go on in life in school or they didn't try to learn other things outside of school that would help them to improve and grow and thrive in the world. You see, if you're unhappy in your life, the truth is you can stop your life and start over. You can literally start over in a new career, but it means you have to be willing to learn. And if you're not a lifelong learner, that's on you. It's not on anyone else's fault. If you have immorally and illegally put your hands in someone's pockets because they wanted to show you something but they didn't want to show you the rest and you wanted to see the rest, you're immoral. You have no right to anyone else's property or personhood and you certainly don't have any rights to their legal paperwork. So let's be clear. The amendments of the United States Constitution give us our rights. But there's a lot of other federal laws that protects our rights to privacy, our rights to our medical capabilities, our rights to our families, our rights to our legacies, our rights to our finances, our rights to our banking, our rights to our home, and anything we own. If you have not understood that, you do not belong here. Because what I put in my pockets belongs to me. What you put in your pockets belongs to you. And anything you stole from my bag is on you and openly deserve to go to jail. Most people in life don't accuse others of being immoral or illegal because we presume people are innocent until it's proven to us that they're liars and cheaters of the world.